What's up Travelers, Casey with another reaction for y'all. In this video, we're going to be checking out SB19 Performs WYAT, Where You At, live on Wish 107.5 bus. Something's going on. Let's go. Something's going on. Let's go retro. Hey, Jane. Hey. Back at it again. Okay. Yo, yo. As big, as big. I like how Pablo immediately tries to amp up the audience, but you know, that seems to be a thing that SB19 does where they bring a lot of energy to their live performances, which is nice because I've seen SB19's music video for WYAT and it was so cool how they had you going back in time throughout the music video and it just covered a bunch of different genres, but it was cool how it kept you engaged and I know that you don't get that with the live performance, so it's cool that SB19 has different tactics to keep the audience engaged. Oh, and if you haven't seen my reaction to their music video, I'll post a link to it in the description below. Lately, I've been feeling disconnected, losing energy. Bear with me, let me read your body in my own time. Baby, do you hear me? Yeah, the truth is, I've been dying because the distance has disrupted me. Could you so I am in the mood, trying yeah. to find a better cure? This song is definitely a bop, which makes you want to get up and dance. It has a really nice rhythm to it. One thing that I've noticed that I really like about SB19 and a lot of P-pop groups for that matter is that they give all their members an equal opportunity to shine. It could just be the groups that I've checked out so far, but SB19 and 4th Impact are really big on that. I just think that's really cool. Thanks to all my friends and family. So if I'm remembering this correctly, I believe that I was told that Pablo wrote this song during the time that everything was happening with the world and we all had to stay home. And it was kind of just like, where are you at? What are you doing? Like he wanted to stay in touch with the other SB19 members, which makes sense because as you guys know, it went on for quite a while. Here we go. I love how SB19 isn't afraid to tackle new genres and try out different themes. And in my opinion, this song was the perfect way to do it. What I really like about the music video was the different visuals were going through a different time period and they had the different themes going on with each time period. And when you relate that music video back with this live performance, you can kind of see where that might happen. It's really a great experience. SB19 always amazes me with their live performances because a lot of times it's really difficult to capture that same magic, yet bring something new, but they always bring something new and the magic is always there. <laughs> Now, if I'm remembering this correctly, I believe at this point in the song is when the song faded and it went to a point to where they're all in their separate rooms doing their own thing. Now, I'm not sure what they could really do for a live performance in that sense. I think they pretty much just had to fade in the song, right? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so they did just end it. Yeah, I don't know what else you could really do right there. Although it wasn't a fade, they literally just stopped it and it was so abrupt. It was actually really cool how they did that. I'm not sure if that's what they did in the original. They might have did that in the original. I think it just popped up with the black screen or something maybe and then they were in their own respective areas. But I really enjoyed their Wish Press performance of Where You At. SB19 always does a great job whether it's live or in a music video and I love checking out a great SB19 performance. So thank you guys so much for the recommendation and if you have any video recommendations the way you think I should react to next, let me know about them in the comments below. Alright, that was pretty dope. I'm excited for the next one. So, let's go. Dude.